the best in the New South Wales team. Um, live on Channel 9 tomorrow night is the second game of Origin Wide World of Sports. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully the Blues go well and uh, can finish up the series, Tuna. <laughs> All the best with that. Thanks, Kira. And Thanks to Ryan as well. I love it when you Queenslanders go, oh, yeah, all the best, and you don't really mean it. Kiri didn't mean good luck. <laughs> didn't mean it. Absolutely not, Liz. Yeah, would be lying if she, um, if she was even slightly hopeful that yeah. there might be a win from the New South Wales. Well, sure. Yeah, I, know, I know you've turned up to commentate in your maroon today. <laughs> know where you sit, guys. I'm, I'm navy on the bottom half, if that counts. <laughs> Remaining some form of neutral tone. All right, Molly Jovic fights for the ball at the top of the circle. Kelsey Brown is travelling beautifully. 15 centre pass receives, 11 goal assists. Molly Jovic, though, doing the work for the Collingwood Magpies in the goal assist department. 16 from her. Oh, Maweni nearly got the win. She's batted along, hasn't she, Pums and Maweni, but it's been a bit of a miserable day for her. So, oh, do you know what? That was very close to very good. <laughs> It was, it was. And interesting just to hear about the, you know, when we talk about that chat between Kira and Ryan, then Kelsey also a foundation uh, player of this Lightning side. So no love lost there. Obviously made the move down to Collingwood alongside Jeeva Mentor. So speak about targets on their back. There, there isn't any love lost, is there? No, and also Kylie Byrne, the coach for Thank Sunshine Coast Lightning, Lightning, was the assistant coach during that quite successful period in the first couple of years especially. So she knows these players back to front. Does Lightning pull one back? I should also say that Steph Wood has come onto the court at wing attack, so a rejig again for this Lightning mid-court. And Cassidy stays in a wing defence. And Sherry and back on at centre. So no Maddie McAuliffe. Maddie McAuliffe to the bench. We obviously saw her come in that centre position as well. But Lightning, yeah, as you mentioned, Liz, just trying to shuffle around this forward line to see what will work best. I actually thought Maddie McCullough had a pretty good impact at centre. She picked up 31 missed net points and defensively she was very good, had two intercepts. As Prescovia takes another beautiful ball. And I want to pick up Laura on something you said. You felt like Jeeva Mentor would come into the game with Peace Prescovia and the stats bear that out. Yeah, well, she's sitting at seven deflections, one pick up, one rebound for the match, but she was 10.5 missing net points at half time. She's now at 33. So you get the sense, as we just see there, Lightning gets the win. You just get the sense that Jeeva, well, you can see her body language. She's feeling more comfortable out there. She's starting to direct play. We know that that's when she's dangerous, is yep. when she starts talking and communicating and she's up and about. You can see her hunting around having a bit of a look, so... So this defensive pressure from the Magpies, impressive. Lightning having to use all the patience at their disposal to get through, but they do. It's Steph Wood on the drive. Sherian looks for Proscovia. Making some of these calls yeah. on some of these defenders. Yeah. This is going to sound like a true goalkeeper, no, Laura, but I reckon they're getting very close to picking up clean ball. I agree. Jodie Ann Ward, she's just... She's in everything. When you look at Ward and you look at the one called against Mawenny, they both had front position. Anyway, you've got to suck it up and get on with it, don't you? Cara Conan on the drive. Oh. Nearly a win for Ward. And a win for Mentor, who gets to it first. Oh. <laughs> so Mahalia Cassidy looked like she got to it first, but... No, wing defence. Oh, sorry. Wing defence with contact. Dude, drive on it. So just here's the replay. Oh, now the umpire is saying that Cassidy dived on it. She whiz. I reckon it's going to get willing for the next 11 minutes. It is, Liz, and I, I feel as though Lightning really needs to keep a lid on things. I feel like they're directing that conf well, the confusion and the frustration to the umpires. The umpires are not going to want a bar of it. They just need to, as tough as it is, get on with it. It can be the difference in this last quarter, can't it, if they just do what the umpire tells them, rather than that oh, frustration we see Conan. And a win for Kara Conan. Who knew she had such great defensive capabilities? She's been in everything since she moved out to goal attack. Steals the ball off Brazzle, and Ash Brazzle can't believe it. Well, she's got such a great engine, Liz. She's got such a great engine. She's such a fit player, so 
She can run a whole game out in that goal attack. She can do the extra defensive work that's required. That's what we're seeing from her. Massive moment for Lightning. They now trail by two. Center to come. Wood Contact to Conan. Yeah, and Jodie Ann Ward gives away the penalty. And Peace Prescovia finishes the deal. We're talking of penalties. Both teams are sitting at 46. Well, 46 to the Lightning, 48 to the Magpies. So that's a replay of that defensive play. And the Collingwood Magpies just taking the opportunity to take a breather. And they've called an HCF timeout. They lead by one. They're about to explode. Jodie Ann Ward is the kind of player I feel would respond well to that kind of coaching. Smart words there, though, from Jeeva Mentor. Final words in that huddle was to go out. Be careful of the umpires. I get the sense that the umpires are going to have a huge say in how this game plays out. Yep. And you just got to take the decision and get on with it. So Sinclair, she's in everything. Shimona Nelson has been a rock for the Magpies. Yeah, I, I think she's going close to being one of the best on court today, if not the MVP. She's been strong from the start. Cross-court ball, dangerous, but Mentor opts to let it go. So all the cross-court work is just being let go by the Magpies' defence. And Kara Conan, well, if you want to talk MVP, you'd have to have her in the mix as well. Yeah, absolutely, Liv. She's been outstanding. Just to transition from that goal shooter position into goal attack, you've mentioned the work that she does defensively. And also the lady there with ball in hand, Ash Brazel. She's been just nullifying in defence. She does a power of work in bringing the ball down the court for the Magpies as well. So the Magpies out by two. Kira Tromp, what did you pick up in the timeout? So Carly Sampson was very passionate in the timeout. She asked her players if they could rise to the challenge. And she meant she wanted those second efforts. She wanted those players chasing loose balls. And I think the crowd is really going to lift the lightning in the last eight minutes. All right, who stands up? It's yet to play out. Eight minutes, 22 to play. What a take from Nelson. Smart pass from Gabby Sinclair. It was a long ball, but it was kept flat. And she draws Pretorius with the ball. And it's the Magpies by two. Who blinks? And it's so true, the crowd up here at Lightning, they're so loud. They really are that extra player out on court. So the, the Magpies just need to keep their nerve as the crowd becomes more and more involved in this match. All right, one back for the Lightning. We've seen them come from behind this year and pick up wins in the most improbable of circumstances. Oh, this is interesting. Kara Conan sneaking up the list. Now, she's dominating the miss and their points. Yeah, she's, as we mentioned, she's been so solid today. Earlier in the game, we saw her the only Lightning player featuring in that top five. We now see Steph Wood, obviously, down the bottom there too. So she really has carried the load here today for the Lightning. Well, it's been interesting, hasn't it? Magpies dominated that first quarter. Lightning came back hard at them in the second and third, and then Magpies settled and finished reasonably well. What happens here? Lightning leading this fourth quarter 9-7. They trail by two. Cassidy looking for Wood. Steph Wood so safe with the ball in her hand. And again, Liz, we still have his mentor just doing that great role that she does, confusing the space. Oh, look, I reckon Jeeva Mentor's seeing it, but she's just, just not quite keeper. getting there. I don't the want to say it, but <laughs> just say it. Go on. Oh, no, it hurts. You know, she just doesn't quite have the hops that she used to yeah. have. So you can see her seeing and moving, but she's just not quite getting there. Anyway, look, the Jeeva Mentor fan club will be down my neck. <laughs> I'll just duck out during this HCF timeout. It's been called by lightning. <laughs> Bring this home. Lightning on two. One, two. Lightning. All right, lots of defensive talk in the lightning huddle. Who's going to go on the fly? Well, you would probably have to say that Maweni Pretorius, they're both capable of it. But as Kylie Byrne was just saying there, we also see down that attacking and Binion Hunt getting the gig at wing attack. But you could hear Kylie Byrne just drilling home to these ladies. If someone commits, someone has to have their back and follow up that next play. All right, Steph Wood into goal attack. Binion Hunt onto wing attack. She sucks in the big breath and Kara Conan back to goal shooter. Kira, what did you learn in the huddle? 
Look, down on the Magpies bench, they really Some talked about contact. making sure not to get Draw sucked up. in around, on that body that's around, going on. Yeah. So the double team that's happening on Kelsey Brown, her coaching staff said to her, don't fight it. You be the decoy. There's got to be a loose player. Be smart. I thought that was really good advice in the dying moment. Also interesting to see Jackie Newton just warming up behind the bench. Thought she might have come on at goal defence. She is a ball winner. I wonder if that extra legs that the Lightning have may bring them through the final few minutes. All right, thanks, Kira. Just interestingly, as you mentioned, Jeeva, just before we went into that timeout, you get the sense that she's even getting caught a little bit flat-footed or her base is a little bit too wide. So when the ball's going overhead, she's just not getting up to it. But also, during the pre-season, we know that she had that slip disc injury in her back, whether that's a factor for her. We, we spoke pre-match, 36 years of age. She's been a veteran of our game. She's what she's done is, is sensational. At 36, it's a long time to be playing professional netball, isn't it? It certainly is. And just the rigours of training, turning up to training week in and week out. Having said that, her Magpies team lead by one. They've got the ball in hand as we tick down to the super shot. To the power five. We have not seen a Suncorp super shot in this match. Does that start now? Oh, the late call, but Gabby Sinclair milked it beautifully. You get the sense that both teams have been told today. They haven't even been look, looking like they've been interested. So we see there now, I'll call it and Gabrielle Sinclair, Sinclair will line it up. No, she won't. <laughs> <laughs> so the little pass off and Shimona Nelson just going along beautifully. 45 goals at 94% from her. It's a Magpies by two, just under four and a half to play. Hunt to Cassidy, lightning fingers from Sherian. Just the ball movement from this lightning oh, attack is so good. No, and I feel like Jodie Ann Ward, she's a terrific player, but that's her 21st penalty. Might be time for the change to come in that position for the Magpies. Oh, what a pass, Kelsey Brown. Just that small little fake. Drew Maweni out and opened Nelson up under the post. Cassidy, it's been a good battle between her and Kelsey Brown. Hunt, just the extra height you can see that she gets with the reach. Side is outside. Goal again. defense contact. That's your leading end. Yeah. Where you are. Ward is being expensive. And Stafford makes some pain. First super shot of the match to Stafford. And we are even. Three and a half to play. How do the Magpies answer? Well, that's what she does, doesn't she, Stephanie Wood? She just keeps her cool and comes on in those dying moments. Yep, she hasn't come into the match much today, but she will choose her time. Jovi, who is she looking for? She's looking for Nelson, the easy play. She won't let them down. She puts the Magpies' the nose ahead. Magpies. And three minutes to play, and it's an HCF timeout for the Collingwood Magpies. They lead by one. Team in. Relay the fact that it is going to get so loud. It is so loud in here. It is so loud. They can hardly hear themselves think. So it's about the connection that these Magpies players have out on court together. See there, Stephanie Wood just lining that super shot up. She's got her eye in. Will she take any more? Oh, she would take as many as it needs <laughs> to get it home. She's won games this year on the super shot. Kira Trump, you were in the lightning huddle. Yeah, look, it was an exciting huddle, smiles on the faces. I think they're really relishing this challenge with the crowd the way it is. Vicky Wilson spent some time with Biddy and Hunt, just Contact. talking her through, Contact. taking Contact. the pressure off her, letting yeah, her know yeah. that they're there for her and to put the ball in when she sees it. So let's see how she steps up in these last two minutes. What a test for a young player. Biddy and Hunt made her debut last year. And Steph Wood takes one on the fly. Subtraction on the double. Talking of super shot, Stephanie Wood. She's 48% this season when it comes to the super shot. Down the other end, Sinclair sitting at exactly the same 48%. So an interesting little stat there from both goal attacks. All right, 60 plays, 59. Just the one super shot. Will the super shot decide it? Interesting to see Jackie Newton's taken a seat. Thought we might see her. It's Jodie oh, Ann Ward contact. runs the risk of being whistled out of the game. And Hunt, well, that's what she's been asked to do, and she does a beautiful job of turning Jeeva Mentor around. We are level. Just under two to play. Oh, Brazil. Oh, what an athlete.
Lee. She's a magician. Kelsey Brown. Yeah. Just pops a little push from Cassidy and. Guys, and we're going to take it back to the wing. We're going to wipe the floor. Thanks. No, right. no, it's outside. It's with Kelsey. Umpire just needing the floor wipe. Who stands up? Give me one play from each team, Laura. Oh. Is it that woman there, Ash Brazel, on the replay? Well, potentially, yeah, absolutely. That was a such an important play. It's this woman for me for the Magpies, and it's Wood for the Lightning. Okay, let's see how they play this out. Sherian. Just under a minute and a half to play. It's Magpies by one. Ash Brazel looking for the ball. Every pass is contested. Mentor, she's out of the circle. They've got Ward back on Conan. Wood's out. Wood's back, sorry. Conan's out. The mix up is on for the Lightning Hunt. Easy option to Conan. Yeah, another contact for Jodie Ann Ward. That's her 24th. That gives her the record this year. Contact penalty is 61 apiece. That's what we could play to. Snores are locked. At the end of this match, we'll play five minutes of extra time. Who plays this smarter? 43 to play. Nelson has it. It'll be a Sunshine Coast Lightning Centre. Nelson and Pretorius fighting over the ball. All the pressure is on Lightning. The crowd, you can just hear, hear them. Sherian, she's in charge at the top of the circle. Jovic yes. gives away the penalty. Watch the close attention to Stephanie Wood. She just wants that super shot zone. She could take the super shot, but they've given it to Conan. She plays to one. There's 15 seconds. Time enough if good enough for the Magpies. Kelsey Brown, there's 10 to play. She goes backwards. They've got to go for the win. Sinclair keeps oh, it. Oh, Sinclair. The big box oh. to Nelson. The miss. Six to two. Shimona Nelson cannot believe it. We are going to extra time. We are going to extra time. It is 62 apiece. Lightning won that last quarter, 1915. No, not at this stage, Liz. They're just keeping that change, keeping the team as we know it. We know that during this five minute period, no changes can be made. The Suntalk Super Shot's still in play. All right, Laura Sherian has the ball in hand. This is our second match of the season that's gone into extra time. Two different teams, though, and Sunshine Coast Lightning finished off that last quarter with a flurry. Hunt to Wood. Kara Conan, she has been the go-to girl for the Lightning. No. Ash Brazel can't believe it. In the two, it's inside the circle. So I'm the super shot plays out and stays in play for this five-minute period. Kara Conan puts the Lightning in front position they have not been in very much at all today. But here they are, they lead by one. So we play the five minutes out, and if the game is level at the end of that five minute period, the competition points are split two apiece, but there are four competition points on the line. Kelsey Brown goes backwards to go forwards. She's got Sinclair, Sinclair looking for Nelson. Well, she's overcome the stress and the disappointment of missing that last shot. She shot an air ball to finish. Shimona Nelson has gathered her thoughts and she's got the Magpies back on track. 63 all. Down this other end, we just seeing Jodie Ann Ward. We know that she's been highly penalised this game. She really needs to just tidy herself up in this last five. She's got to stay in play, got to put the pressure on the shot. No such pressure here. Steph Wood makes good. Eight from ten for Steph Wood and one super shot. Contact goal defence. Yes, fair with the goal defence. Kira, you're in the lightning huddle. So a lot of talk about going for the first ball. So you can see that physicality from Mah Mahalia Cassidy, Sherry. And they're really yeah, trying to turn the ball over the early in this five minutes uh, of extra time. All right, so the risk has to be taken defensively. Nelson gets her hand oh. to the ball. How did she keep that in? She did, and Sinclair the finish. Can you believe it? 
great work, Sinclair, too. Amazing work from Nelson. All sorts of heroics being performed by both teams. Nelson just needs to keep her cool, doesn't she? You can tell that that missed shot at the end of the fourth quarter has rattled her a little bit. Yeah, and Ward, I reckon Magpies need to bring Jackie Newton on because Jodie Ann Ward is getting expensive. Yeah, she is, and every pass or every ball under the post down this end. So we see that replay there from Nelson and the work done by Sinclair. Every single shot that Lightning are having is with Jodie Ann Ward out of play. So here's Sinclair. In the two, what does she do? Play safe, yes she does. Over to Nelson, keeps Nelson in the game. Smart play. Scores a level again. Two to play, 65 each. Binny and Hunt, she's been strong since she's been brought on into that wing attack position. Just changes the speed of play, the forward line for Lightning as well. Yeah, and that's just so easy for the Lightning, bringing the ball down court, the one-on-one -on -one with Mentor and Conan, and Conan has owned it all day. 45 from 51 for Kara Conan, 88%. Sinclair finds Jovic on the drive. All sorts of problems for Gabby Sinclair getting back into the circle. Smart play from Sharon. Pretorius, the outside arm, the ball thief. She's been quiet today. Oh, that's going to explode sometime in the next minute and a half. Ash Brazzle not happening. Oh, Jodie Ann Ward. Well, there you go. Oh, Pretorius. This game has everything. Who settles? Sherian sitting well back in the centre third. Well, the Magpies, they need to come up with something here, whether it be the rebound, Jodie Ann Ward. She is in everything. Here Thank I am Thank God they didn't take her off the court. <laughs> Who take her off the court? Who said that? <laughs> it's all happening. A moment here for the Magpies. Oh, it's just about playing smart at this point of the game, isn't it? Contact. Nicole Richardson is out of her seat. Thank goodness she's got the mask on because I don't want to see the <laughs> words that just came out of her mouth. Well, pressure does funny things to people, doesn't it? And you just feel like Steph Wood is the one that stands up when it's on. Pretorius, she goes backwards. Cassidy. Yeah, there's Nick Richardson, the birthday oh, girl, Ward in it again. Back. She can't no. believe it. She's <laughs> in the play. Oh, in the format. <laughs> Nick Richardson, Magpies coaching ball girl, most favourite qualified ball girl in the world. Conan, contact wing defender. Ash Brazzle throwing everything at this. Come around. But the Lightning are in Come the around. box seat. Come There's around. ten to play. Well, they need to take the super shot to take the win, or we end up with a drawn match, don't we? No, Lightning are up by one. Oh, we got Conan can <laughs> finish it. Sunshine Coast Lightning run out winners 